Okay, so we are going to do the, um, this is a correction video, so I'll pull the other one down. Um, area in a circle, um, we're going to talk about um, sector and arc link of a sector. So here, a central angle is nothing more than the angle in the center of the circle P. That would be the central angle there, and I'm going to represent it by theta. Radiance is nothing more than how many times um, the radius would fit around the circle. So if I was to go here, I would want to find out how many times this piece would go around the circle. That's called a radian. Okay? So to get that, the radian is the S. This is the arc length equals the central angle times the, the uh, radius. So S is equal to arc length. R is equal to radius. And theta is your central angle. So if I want to get my central angle and radians, then I divide both sides by the radius and I get the central angle and radians is the arc length over the radius. So central angle and radius and radians. So a sector is nothing but a piece of the circle, and the way you can think about this is like a piece of pizza where there's a central angle here, and this black part is the crust of the pizza, and the other part is the, the toppings and stuff on the pizza. To find the area of a sector, then which is the piece of the pizza, the inside of the slice of pizza that you have, to find this part, then all you would do is the area of a sector, and you do not have to memorize these formulas. It is on your formula sheet. You do the um, pi r squared times theta, which is the central angle, over 360. Now to find the arc length, which is the crust of the pizza, then you do S equals, and this formula is on your formula sheet, r times pi over 360. All right, so this question says, this question says to find the length of the minor arc. So they're asking me to find the crust of the pizza, which is right here. So what you're going to do is you're going to use your um, arc length of a sector formula. And then you're going to say that should be 2 pi r, because this is a part of the circumference, times 45 over 360. So you get arc length equals 2 pi 13 times 45 over 360. So I'm going to grab the calculator, and I'm going to put that, put that in. So I'm going to say 2 times 13 equals 26 and then we're going to say times I'm going to do the alpha y equals 45 over 360 which is 13 over 4 so you get s is equal to your arc length is equals to 13 over 4 and keep the pi that was already there and it gave it to us in inches so that is in inches now it says give the central angle in radians. So the answer to the second part would be, well, from the last page, it showed you that central angle, central angle is equal to the arc length over the, radi um, the radius. So to get that in radians, then what we're going to do is say my central angle and radians would be my arc length is 13 over 4 pi. Divide this 
by the radius, which is 13. So I'm going to graph my calculator. I'm going to go alpha y equals enter. And I'm going to do alpha is y equal again so I can get double fractions. So 13 over 4 and then 13. And we get 1 over 4. So the arc length and I mean the central angle in radians is 1 4 pi. Central angle in radians. Okay, so now the next question says find the area of the major sector. So if you look at this, it wants me to find the area of this piece. And area is the inside space. And this is the major. This arc is bigger than this side over here. So I'm going to use my formula that says um, area of a sector is equal to pi r squared times the central angle over 360. Well, in this case, we ought to go and look to see what the central angle is. I know the radius is 14, so I'm going to say 14 squared times. I got to get this central angle. This gave me, gave me the central angle of the minor arc. So now what I need to do to get the angle on this side, on this side here in black, I have to do 360 minus 135. Okay, so I'm going to grab my calculator. 360 minus 135 equals 225. So we're going to say 225 over 360 degrees. So now the area of that sector is equal to, and I'm going to grab the calculator, and I'm not going to put the pi in because I want what is called an exact answer. So I'm going to say 14, well, 14 squared times, oh, hold on, times alpha y equals 225 over 360. So that gives us 245 over 2. So that's 245 over 2 and pi. And it's okay for you to leave it in this form. You can leave it in fraction form. It's fine. Okay, so that's the answer to that question. Now let's go back up. Number three, it says a sector of a, of a circle has an area of 52.36 um, centimeters squared. Find a radius. Let me go back to this problem. Since this is the area of a sector, this needs to be miles. The units are miles squared. So make sure you don't forget the units like I just did. Um, here I'm going to, it says find the radius. So they gave me, I'm going to draw a picture of what they gave me. This will help my thinking out. So I had a sector that's 60 degrees. And this sector, um, that central angle is 60 degrees. And the inside space of this sector is equal to 52.36 centimeters squared. So it says find the radius. So I need to find this R or this R. They're the same. So it gave me the area of a sector equals uh, pi R squared times the theta over 360 degrees. So... If you have that, then what you do is you get the area of the sector equals pi. Your radius is what you're trying to find, r squared. Well, hold on. I know the area of the sector. The area of the sector, just a minute, guys. Computer's running slow. The area of the sector, I already know, so that's 52.36 over 60 over 360 all right so what i'm going to do is divide both sides by uh, 60 over 360 on both sides so i can get that r i'm gonna move this over it's in my way
So we get um, divided by 60 over 360 equals pi r squared. So I'm going to use the calculator to help me with the math right here. So I'm going to push alpha y equals and 52.36 divided by, well, delete. And I'm going to push alpha y equals again to get the bottom part, 60 over 360. Oh, it's telling me I got a syntax error. Oh, okay. Delete that. Enter. So we get um, this side equals 314.16 equals pi r squared. Mm -hmm. And now I want to go and divide both sides by pi, divide both sides by pi. So r squared equals 314.16 divided by pi. And then I'm going to go and take the square root of both sides. So I take the square root of here and the square root of here. r equals, and it's okay to put the pi in for this one since it's under the square root. Alpha y equals 314.16. Oh, wait. Let me get my fraction, I mean my square root key. 314.16. Divided by, and I'm push the second key, and um, this key here to give me pi, the caret key, and we get ten. So the radius here is about ten, and did they give us any units? Yep. So it's ten centimeters. So the radius is ten centimeters, and you are done. Okay, so go ahead and go through the rest of the problems, and I will catch you guys on tomorrow.